So let's first start with just a reminder of the general formula for a confidence interval. Let's just take the statistic plus or minus the confidence coefficient. And that confidence coefficient is typically going to be a Z or a T value times the standard error that goes with that statistic. In the case of the proportion, we will use a sample proportion, P hat, plus or minus Z, that's our confidence coefficient. You only use the T when you're estimating a sample standard deviation, computing S. Well, there is no S in the proportions, so we'll use the Z table. And then times the square root of P hat Q hat over N. Be careful on the standard error here for proportions. When you're estimating a confidence interval, it's the square root of P hat Q hat over N. But when we do hypothesis testing, you use the hypothesized proportion, the one in the null hypothesis. Sample proportion was 0.22. 22 answered uh, yes to the question. The Q, which is just the proportion no, or just 1 minus 0.22, is 0.78. And then N is 100. And then the Z value for 98% is 2.326. And so just calculate that out and you get 0 0.124 to 0 0.316. So we can say that if we wanted to look at it that way, that more than 10% are interested in shopping at the store on Sunday and less than 35%, we, we can say it's less than 35. We can also just look at the interval itself and say we think it's somewhere between 0 0.124 or 0.316, or at least there's a pretty good chance that it's in somewhere in that interval. Okay, just a kind of a reminder here, the standard error, the standard error is just the square root of p hat q hat over n. We've already had that over here, but just as a reminder, if a question asked you for standard of error, that's what you would get. And if it asked you for margin of error, you would go ahead and multiply that standard error by the z value of the confidence coefficient, in this case the 2.326. And then I want to just remind you that when we talk about confidence intervals, we're talking about a long-range concept. That is, we're talking about a repeated process sample over and over again. We're looking at the proportion of intervals that would include the true per population parameter if we were to go ahead and sample over and over and over again. Okay, so to uh, do this on the calculator, just hit STAT arrow over to tests and go down to one prop z interval and we had 22 out of 100 and we wanted a 98 percent confidence level and that's it and there is the same answer that we came up with when we did this with the calculator